I want to start this video by acknowledging that I am in Southern California where it is currently a hundred and bajillion degrees outside. So I apologize in advance for wiping sweat off my upper lip every 10 seconds. So speaking of that, I am always asked for tips on fun ways to tell a partner that you're pregnant. You know, it's such an exciting moment. And while obviously you can just say we're pregnant, and that is so incredibly beautiful. It can be fun to go about it in, you know, kind of a cute, clever way, especially if you've been trying for a long time. And this just feels like, I mean, it's always a huge milestone, but again, I can speak from experience. It's like it it feels like the impossible has happened when you've been trying and trying and trying for many years. So anyways, here are some of, or 10 of my personal favorite ideas for telling your partner the big news. So one thing you can do is create a gift basket with, you know, a lot of their favorite things, you know, maybe some alcohol they like or food or whatever it is. And then just like roll up a cute little onesie and stick it in there. And when they're, when they find it and they look incredibly confused, you can let them guess on their own or you can like point to your belly. All right. Um, you can send them a letter and you can, or not send them a letter, but you can put like either the positive P stick or if you are somehow, if you have the willpower to wait until you actually have a ultrasound image, you can put that or the P stick in an envelope, you know, make it look like a regular letter, you know, put a stamp on it, address it to them at your address, slip it in with the regular mail, ask them to go through the mail, watch their face as they open it. Oh, and with that said, my recommendation for all of them is to make sure you record the moment. Either have someone that's there discreetly recording it or set your phone up to record the, the moment. Okay you can spell out I'm and then P R in chocolate chips and a plate and then put an ego waffle next to the P and the R a little bit cheesy but cute I'm prego get it all right just give them a stack of pregnancy books you can also have a puzzle made that reads you're going to be a parent places like Etsy there's tons of services that will make a custom puzzle like this. You could probably even look up you're going to be a parent puzzle on Google and tons of options will show up. Um, but then don't let it be one of those puzzles that like takes you guys a week to finish. Most of these puzzles have like 16 pieces, so you can finish it pretty quickly. Um, you can secretly add the baby's due date to the calendar and then you can like really casually ask your partner, you know, like we just got this really special invite for like September 8th. Do you mind checking the calendar to see if we have anything happening on that day in nine months? You can tape a piece of paper to the bottom of like a mug or a water glass or water bottle that says I'm pregnant. And then as you're, you know, as you're sitting and having breakfast or dinner with your partner, very like obviously take like a long sip, giving them like a little nudge to look over and have them read it. I guess you want to make sure that it's also like oriented properly so they're not trying to read it upside down. All right, you can, this one's a little bit more labor intensive, but I think very clever. So you can blow an egg, wash it clean. Blowing an egg means essentially it's like you're draining it. So you're just like poking a little hole, getting everything out of it. So it's hollow. Wash it clean. And then you can write on a little tiny slip of paper, whatever you want. Like you're going to be a dad or a mom or whatever, a parent, roll it up, 
slip it in to the little tiny egg on the top of the hole, put it back in the carton, and then one morning ask if they'll make you some eggs to make sure they actually crack open that egg. Maybe like transfer all but like one other egg somewhere else. So again, they're guaranteed to crack open the special message egg. And then last but not least, oh wait, no, there's two more, sorry. Okay, second to last is add a package of diapers to your grocery haul, ask them to help you unload it and make sure they get the bag that has the diapers in it. And the last one, the most classic, simply stick a bun in the oven and ask them to look in the oven. <music>